their concerns are, development authority concerns are, that this property is being way overvalued, and before they make a, a purchase like that, they just won't know that the city is alongside with them. So that type of pressure, hey, I agree that stance on that, but I don't think that the development thought or the city is in too much different with concerns right now when it comes to this property. It's not just about housing. We, we all know we got housing issues. It's just not about eyesore here. We all know that. And we talk about housing for four units, and, and I, I would not like to see any of those people displaced, but if we can do it in a, a way that it's going to better fit and have a, a better perception from the uh, community, not just the fact that these greenhouses need to, something need to be done with. They've been like that for the last how many or so years? And we, we probably, we all probably can't put a number to, to count that. So don't say that we're not trying to do nothing about this situation. It's all about, to me, is that there were several concerns from the development authority and the council that need to be addressed. And I don't think we need to move forward with it until those concerns are addressed. I'm 100% behind the development authority exactly. acquiring the property. Making a positive change over there on 8th, 9th, and 10th Street on that block. Um, and that, if, if that be the case, and we've got a Ford fund with money set aside to do this with, and this money will not find a better use in this city than to get rid of those greenhouses, it ought to be done that way. Because you, you I've not heard anybody up on this dais tell me that, well, let's take that money and do this with it, let's do that way. You want to hold on to it. And eighty thousand is not going to do a whole lot. You can leverage a whole lot of a whole lot of purchase power here with that eighty thousand dollars. Getting rid of those greenhouses. It's a fifty thousand dollar minimum. We got to use that money for. So the next loan is basically going to deplete, deplete the fund anyhow. We don't loan less than fifty thousand out of the forward fund. So that would leave us with forty. It wouldn't leave us enough even to do another loan. So you look at Valley investing hundreds and hundreds of probably millions of dollars in the thousands of acres. Huh? At least close to a thousand acres the valley has for development. When that's going to have that mill site cleaned up for you, know it. If you watch that thing down there, that thing is clicking on. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what the Grange is doing as far as development goes. Okay. So what is West Point's problem when it comes to development compared to the other cities? What is West Point's problem? Yeah. What is our problem? Well, we've got a city that's turned around. We've got a Love's truck stop coming out across from Frisky Whiskey's as soon as the DOT gets the. Roundabouts finished. They're, they bought the property. They are coming. We can't not plan on that That's happening. Not, of course not. Yes. What is, you're what? asking what the city's doing about the. No, I said, what is our problem we, then? We, what? You just highlighted all the good things that are about to happen in the other cities. Mm -hmm. What are our problem? Do we have a, a development problem? We I think we've taken the same steps they've taken. I mean, we've, we've, bought, <laughs> we've, been, we've been buying property up to this yeah. point. We've been working on our yeah. redevelopment plan. And I think this is <laughs> this the next this progression of that plan. So yeah. we don't need to put the brakes on. That's my point. I don't think we can afford to put the brakes on. Who said the brakes on? Nobody up there has voted no kind of way. But it seems to me that some people already got a, a perception that we said no. The only thing it is, we're asking about the concerns that's in the, in, the, in the paperwork, in the deal, and stuff like that. But the perception has already came out that we have said no, that we'll divide it on this. I don't know which way you we're decide on this. We're not going to know until we vote. Exactly. Right. So 